Okay, um, all praises to you. I will buy share with Chef. No one is somebody else's GMS. You know, I'm about to go through a few articles going into uh, martial law. The brother from uh, Chicago sent me this and I ended up printing it out. Um, it's called um, Russian Ex Expert. Russian expert predicts Obama will declare martial law in America by 2012. All right, it says Igor Panarin, Dean, the Russian Foreign Minister, School for Future Diplomats, believe that President Obama will announce martial law by the end of 2012. He explains there's a 55 to 45 percent chance right now, right now that the this interrogation will occur. All right, so this person, all right, he's basically predicting that Barack Obama is about to kill Mark Law. In 2009, Panorama lectured at the Diplomatic Academy where he said that he believed that the U.S. will begin to, to collapse in 2010. He compared America to a neo-Nazi Germany and blamed the U.S. for the global financial crisis that destroyed the Russian economy. Okay? No way, and this is about to become a neo-Nazi um, Germany um, dictatorship. Okay? Unless you want to declare martial law. Okay? It says, um, Panoran said to American to, to, the, the American society is in decline. Reference school shootings like Columbine. Okay? Now you had mass shootings, um go name well, you had a guy on um, Omar Thor which was a Israelite, right? okay, so called Negro. Okay, he did a mass shooting. Then you had um recent shootings like the one in um, um Connecticut. Okay, the guy went in there and killed about 28 people or whatever. Then um, you had another one too. Uh, 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 you had a few um, other shootings. Uh, oh yeah, the one at the movies. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That was in uh, I think Denver, Some, somewhere around there. Yeah, you know, but you just been having mad shoes, you know. And also, um, the one in Arizona, all right, when the guy shot, um, I think the lady was, uh, uh the governor or something like that, Arizona. Okay. It says, um, reference school shootings like Taliban combined with the banker bailouts in 2008 as proof that the U.S. is no longer the global dominating economy. Panorama believes that the American dream is over, which it is. That American dream is completely over. All right. So you can see that because, hey, man, people can't even find jobs no more. All right. Jobs is very thin, man. All right. He has sourced that the mass immigration, economic decline, moral degrading. Degradation will plunge America into a civil war that will enter on the collapse of the U.S. dollar. Panoran created a map of how he perceived the U.S. will divide. He asserted the parts of the U.S. would be taken over by foreign interests. Or he's going to basically how other countries are going to um, basically buy different parts of America. Jump down a paragraph. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and read through. All right, concerning the social climate emerging in America, kind of words seem prophetic. Some Buck County Judge Tom Head said on a local Fox affiliate station that he is convinced that Obama's re-election will spawn civil will spawn civil unrest which would justify the U.S. government's use of martial law. 
to quell the public, right? And that was actually happening because um, once Obama got reelected, you had like different um, states trying to file for their own um, um, sovereignty. They see they want to they didn't want to be under the um, of, um, the U.S. government anymore, all right? Head is seeking an increase in local taxes to beef up the Lombok County Sheriff's Office and District Attorney's Office. He expressed concern that Obama would deploy UN and NATO troops until U.S. soil should reach civil unrest and be declared, he said. Which is that are already happening because I have another article that um the mayor of the city I live in, Gary, Indiana, okay. This bitch is trying to declare martial law here, okay? Then it says, uh, he's, he's trying to hand over the sovereignty of the U.S. to the United Nations. What's going to happen, and when that happens, I'm thinking worst case scenario, civil unrest, civil disobedience, civil war may be. We're just not, we're not just talking a few riots or demonstrations, right? So a lot of shit is gonna happen in America, man, okay? Um, full riots and all that, um, um, riots because there's no jobs, you know, race wars, all that, man. Those are considered riots, too. In, Mar in March of 2012, Obama signed the National Defense Resources for Fairness DNRP executive order that declared peacetime martial law. Obama granted himself authority over all domestic energy, production, transportation, food and water in the name of national security. Basically, uh, in martial law, the government or the, the, the military is going to take over everything from food, water supply, all that, you know. Um, what else? Um, gas. Um, we're gonna take over schools, you know, all that, man. The DNRP has roots in the Defense of Production Act of 1950, wherein the U.S. government was empowered to defense national resources in the event of a national emergency that would define any of Americans as a challenge to government control over all U.S. citizens will be required. Okay, um... I think I'm going to stop right... Hold on, uh, it's a little bit more. Alright, it says, um, uh, to maintain continually of the government, the president and advisors will be able to use the directive as they saw it fit if the situation warranted. It was no mistake that the National Defense Authorization Act, NDAA declaration, I mean, selection, selection. The National Defense Authorization Act, NDAA, declared the domestic U.S. a battlefield ability to detain any American citizen without charge or trial solely on suspicion is key to the power of the NDAA. All right, and that's what the government plan on doing. They plan on locking down America. Okay, on um, uh, taking U.S. citizens and taking them to those concentration camps. Okay, kill it out of you. That's what they. These martial law is all about, man, okay? That's why they're trying to bring this martial law over here in America, okay? Now, um, we got an article right here. Most Tribune, okay? This black bitch right here. This fucking dyke bitch. Karen Freeman. Okay. And it says, um, Mayor to State in us help. Karen Freeman asks for state police, National Guard to patrol the city streets to combat crime spikes, all right? Which, there's only been, what, um, 41 kills in here, all right? 